Hi, this is Sean Bradshaw with Zenergy Technologies. I want to welcome you to point number five in our series on making the transition as a tester from waterfall to agile. The fifth point is really uh, probably a little bit more complex than the others. And uh, he, here it goes. I'll do the best I can. And, and it's, it's put simply, it's balance. And so what do I mean by balance? Typically in testing, uh, in waterfall, we, we develop a test plan, maybe even a test strategy fairly early in the waterfall process. We identify all the different types of testing we're going to do, the performance testing, the system testing, functional end-to-end, -end, et cetera, et cetera. It's all laid out. Well, within a sprint, how do you get it all done? Well, you have to take a balanced approach and realize that you can't necessarily go into depth at the same level but there are going to be other sprints that allow you to do other types of testing. So what do I mean by a balanced approach in particular? Let's talk, let's talk really specifically within a sprint. One thing is, in order to do all the testing that we would really like to do, we need to take a, a more close look at how we do our automation. So we're not necessarily going to be able to automate everything, but automation, if you're not currently doing it in your waterfall projects for Agile, it's going to become a necessity. Again, not 100% uh, automation, but as much as possible, as much as seems reasonable. So part of the balanced approach uh, that I'm talking about is really looking at how much manual testing we do versus how much automation. And even within the manual testing, how much you plan out beforehand, how much you have uh, pre-written test cases for, versus how much exploratory testing you do. It's, a, it's really a balance between those three. So within the time frame of the sprint, we need to make sure that we're doing some level of automation. Now that doesn't mean as a, as a tester you're doing all the automation. Any team member can assist with test automation. Certainly, we would hope that our developers are doing automated unit testing, and that gives us credit for part of that automation and actually can go into our continuous integration or continuous development process. Um, so a certain level of automation needs to be done. We need to be planning for that. We also need to be doing, of course, some level of manual testing. Not everything can be automated. What can uh, be automated, hopefully, is the more uh, uh, rote type of tests, the things that you, as a tester, maybe I'll say a little bit boring. So we really want our more interesting tests, the more complex tests, as much as possible focused on the manual. But then we can't forget there's also the exploration, the learning that takes place. So don't think that you can have everything scripted out in your test scenarios. Allow for time to learn. Now we're talking about taking up time in a very limited window, which means of course you have to have a much more narrow focus on what you're actually testing. That means you're not writing hundreds of, t of test cases, you're not writing a hundreds of automated scripts, you're not doing you know, hours upon hours of exploratory testing. It's really about finding the right balance for that feature, for that sprint, to make sure that when we come out of it, we have just enough automation, just enough testing that meets the acceptance criteria, and just enough exploratory testing to make sure we as testers are comfortable that there wasn't anything we didn't understand. The other thing that I wanted to, to point out in this balanced approach has to do with the planning itself. We don't normally have a lot of time in the sprint to do what most people would consider standard test planning. So there's some minimal planning you might want to do around what needs to be automated, what needs to be uh, scripted or written out in test cases, and then what we might leave for more exploratory, exploratory type tests. Uh, but the planning you could do at a higher level, maybe at a release level, might talk about over the course of multiple sprints, how much automation needs to be done, how much feature testing that's, that's pre-scripted or, or written in tests, how much exploratory testing, when we do different things, when do we do regression, how much of the regression should be automated, things like that. Certainly we can have that conversation and have a plan written at more of a release or multi-sprint level. Um, so keep that in mind. That's the last point. 
a balanced approach, realize that it's not just manual testing, it's not just automated, it's not just exploratory, it's the balance of the three. Hopefully these five points that we've gone through in this series will be helpful to you as you make your transition from, from waterfall to agile. And of course, if you ever have any questions, feel free to visit us at zenergytechnologies.com. Uh, leave some feedback for us and we'll be happy to get back in touch with you. Thank you.